So instead of looking at the straight uh, boundaries, we're going to look at the bent plate boundaries this time because not every plate boundary is a straight line. So the first one we're going to look at is the transform fault boundary when it's a colliding bend. All right. And I'm going to see these plates over 20 million years. And I want to, as I'm watching, I'm going to look at this legend or key and identify what geologic features or events are formed because of these bent colliding transform fault boundaries. Okay. So obviously as the two are colliding, one is moving more upward while the other is moving more downward. And along that boundary line that's bent, we have lots of earthquakes. These mountains are sure growing because as they're colliding that, that uh, crust is being pushed upward because there's no space to go. And a abandoned riverbed was formed because this edge of the river no longer matches with this edge, but a new riverbed was also formed. All right. So now the next one we're going to look at is still the bent plate boundaries and still the transform fault boundary, but it's going to be the spreading bend. So we're going to see the plates over time. Yet again, we're going to look at 20 million years. Got to make sure I'm paying attention to this legend or key to help me identify those geologic features and events that are formed as the spreading bent transform boundary is occurring. So let's watch. So this plate bound plate is moving uh, closer to you and the left plate is moving farther away. So notice this crevice. All right, and in that crevice is being formed a river. All right, notice that this part of the river no longer matches with that, so now it's an abandoned riverbed. All right, and a new river was formed, and then also earthquakes occurred at along that uh, spreading plate boundary. If you missed any of the geologic features or events for the bent transform boundaries, both of them, all right, be sure to rewind and rewatch.